God bless America. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Protege program. I am the Talk Radio Protege, and before I get started today, I wanted to uh, send a thank you to Sean Wingfield. You've dropped the first uh, comment on one of my videos. So I really appreciate your feedback. Now, let's get straight into the topic of today. From CBS Sacramento affiliate Folsom School warns USA chant could send unintended message. Okay, this sounds somewhat innocuous at the moment because, you know, th think about who the USA champ might send an unintended message to. It might send an unintended message to new arrivals, new immigrants, that they're not welcome for whatever reason. So if I was in this situation where someone said the USA champ might... Uh, might make these students feel unwelcome. My response would be to make an announcement and say, "Okay, new arrivals, new immigrants, students that are uh, that feel unwelcome by the USA chant. The chant is not meant to say we are better than you. The chant is meant to say USA is wonderful. Welcome to the, you know, welcome to the states, welcome to the country. Uh, become be a part of this wonderful country." But I don't think <laughs> that that is going to be the warning that's given by Folsom Schools. So let's see if we can get a few more details. So this senior that's named here definitely has the right idea. To say USA, you know, we're all the same, we're all American, it doesn't what your skin tone is or where you're from. That ought to be the message of the USA chant is that uh, this country is great. Uh, we're glad to be Americans, and if you're not an American we and you're in the States, we hope that you'll become an American, you know, something to that effect. But apparently, school staff brought up the topic to a leadership class. So that means that a moral busybody that is being uh, employed by the school has taken issue to chanting USA. Come on, don't do this to me. Okay. What is Folsom Cordova United Communications Director? <laughs> that sounds like a bureaucrat if I've ever seen a title. To practice empathy, to practice kindness, and to practice patriotism, you can do both. That's what the USA chant is. It's liberal lunatics that are turning it into not empathetic and not kindness. At some schools across the country, the chants appeared to be used in a derogatory way toward opponents of different ethnicities. No, no, no. That's your perspective on the thing. That's your liberal lunacy bias at play. If if these were if this was a USA school playing against an international school, which it, I don't even know that such a contest exists except for in the Little League World Series. Then maybe this would be the interpretation, but I don't think that would be the case. If this is two USA schools competing and the entire stadium begins chanting USA, then I don't see how you can inject a race into that. But of course a liberal will find a way to inject a race into whatever they want. There's a time and place to yell and cheer that. Yeah, anytime you're feeling patriotic, chant USA. Be my guest. The school principal sent out an email to families, relayed the same message to students over the school's PA system. All right, let's see if the message that I would have portrayed is the message to be portrayed by the principal. We can communicate an unintended message. Uh, chanting USA is welcome, but it may be best to do it at what she says are appropriate times, like following the National Anthem or the Pledge of Allegiance. Okay, so she didn't actually take a stance on whether or not the USA, the USA chant is sending the wrong message to the, uh, the minorities that the liberals are concerned about. School officials worry the chants could come across as intolerant and offensive, but parents see it differently as... An expression of pride and acceptance. One mother said, I want the chant 
I want to chant USA because I want to pull together and help, not because I want anybody to feel left out or not a part of this country. Exactly. Exactly. Why can't everybody chant USA and inspire uh, pride in the country? Apparently this is the first... <laughs> There's never been a complaint. So nobody that is that actually might be offended by the chant is actually offended. It's the moral busybodies that are employed by the school that are getting offended by the USA chant. Students say there's likely to be a lot of chanting at this Friday's football game where the theme is USA Pride. That seems that seems incredibly appropriate to chant USA at a themed football game where the theme is patriotism so there's not an actual problem here there's just moral busybodies that are trying to create a problem so that the solution can be we have to ban the USA chant they may have failed in this round because the principal has not instituted a ban on the USA chant but do not doubt me they will be back we will not this will not be the last time we talk about this